Right, so let's start off by going into how to spot preferences. And if we go to global menu, uh, there's a new option to include a global menu search bar in your menu bar. So if we say show how to spot global menu, you'll see up in the search bar now we have a new uh, icon similar to Spotlight. And we'll say start global menu upon login. Now that just means that we don't have to have uh, how to spot running. We can just get access to how to spot search technology. Now this new menu bar is called Blitz Search. So this is uh, access to uh, the new how to spot Blitz Search. Before we move away though, what I will do, um, because you might actually use this instead of the standard spotlight menu, there is an option under advanced to disable standard spotlight menu. And if we say that, just give it to our administrator password. And then we'll log in and log out again. Right, so that has now rebooted. And you can see the standard spotlight search icon has disappeared. And we have the new how to spot menu item. So if we just click that, You'll see we get access to all our templates. So there's our photos pixel info template, which if I just click on that, that will just start the uh, search query off for us straight away. Um, also, again, if I go back to that icon, uh, you'll see we have this thing called Blitz Search. And we can now do a quick search in here. I'll just search for light as I did before. And there we go, there's our query. Now by default, it's selecting uh, if any of the following is true, the name contains light or the text content contains light as well. If you want to get rid of one of those, you can just get rid of the uh, text content. And there we go, there's our search from before. And again, I can exclude the library and that gives us our original search. Now, a quick way to access the Blitz search search box is to set up a uh, key combination. And you can do that by going into preferences and then under global menu, uh, focus on blitz search field. Now I've set this up to be control, shift and space. Now, if you do set up a global hotkey, you'll probably need to log out and log back in again, but I actually did that before. So now if I do uh, control, shift, space, it takes us straight to blitz search and I can just type in my search parameter again. And there we go. So in effect, that becomes a direct replacement for your spotlight search term. Another option you have, if we go back into preferences and go to advanced this time, we can install how to spot in the finder toolbar. So we'll need to relaunch the finder. And there we go, there's our finder. And uh, over on the right hand side, we have a how to spot icon. So if I click that, there we go, that takes us straight to a how to spot search panel. So many different ways to get to your how to spot search terms. Uh, another way I mentioned before is to look at launch bar. Now, if you haven't got launch bar, uh, again, there's a screencast online show all about launch bar. I'll pop up the, uh, the numbers on the screen. It's my sort of application launcher of choice. So I'm really pleased that they've included some integration with launch bar. Uh, it's very simple to set up. Um, what you need to do is go into launch bar. So let's just uh, invoke launch bar, go to configuration, open configuration. And now what I want to do is create a new search template. So I'll just click on uh, this icon and select search templates, empty list of search templates. And then we'll add, let's call this just uh, HS for how to spot. And then our search term itself. Now you can find this string in the release notes of uh, how to spot. And I'll also pop it up on the screen as well so you can copy it down. But uh, right, that's our search term done. So let's just tab. Uh, let's just save the configuration. Now, if I evoke launch bar as normal, I actually use command spacebar and then just type HS. Uh, the first time I do it, it's bringing up the Hoodaspot application, but you can see there's the search term below. So I'll just highlight that and then press the spacebar. And then let's just type in our search term from before. And there we go. That's invoked our search directly from launch bar. So that's how to spot, well worth checking out. Uh, as I say, a great replacement for Spotlight, but still using the power of Spotlight, but just making it that bit easier to use.